So guys, I am back with another first descendant video and today guys we talk about the hotfix of 1.0.1 few changes to the game, a few content improvements, bug fixes and a few other things. Now first things first, since this patch, this update has hit the game, there's been multiple reports of players not being able to log in, basically having more server issues, but we'll talk about that after the patch notes or the hotfix notes so let's get into it guys how's it going people my name is dpj and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe so they state greetings descendant uh, the first descendant hotfix 101 uh, patch has been applied the patch schedule was today pdt uh, 8 30 a.m which has already been uh, most of us now have already got this but yes, the platforms it has hit Steam, Xbox Series X, S, Xbox One, PS4 and PS5. So let's get into the patch details, people. Uh, platform and system fixed the issue where the logo sound volume was too high when launching the game. Server and client stabilization has been carried out. Really? PS5 removed unintended factors that were degrading performance. Uh, PS5 and the Xbox Series X, they fixed the issue where the FSR upscale was malfunctioning. Okay. Content improvements, knockback and knockdown recovery times have been sped up by 1.5 times. Uh, the maximum usage of the Eternic Shield per skill phase has been reduced from two times to one time. Okay, interesting. Okay, so bug fixes. Uh, fix the issue where the back button did not work after closing the capacity exceeded pop-up in the module enhancement UI. Cool. Descendant. This is on the Xbox One. Fix the issue where the heads of other players wearing skins would intermittently not display. Onto module. Fix the issue where the skill power modifier number was not applied correctly after level 5 enhancement of the lethal infection module. And fix the issue where the ultimate module drop animation was used when the normal module high power rounds capacity increase was dropped. Okay, minor. Field. Fix the issue where the object destruction animation did not appear in the strategic outpost. Um, fix the issue where the name and description of the NPC Dominique in the Hagias region were displayed incorrectly. And lastly guys, onto equipment. Fix the issue where the gilded round on the ultimate weapon that restored relic did not apply the ancient fire status effect. Fix the tooltip error for the fire skill power of the active volcano external components to set effect and fix the tooltip error for the weak point damage of the frozen heart external components for set effect so yes guys that is what's been changed with the recent heart fix of 1.0.1 or the patch that you just long well not long downloaded but are you guys having issues with the game in regards to not being able to log on let me tell you it isn't just you i mean I had the exact same issue, I jumped online and seen many, many players are seeing this exact same screen. So yeah, absolute madness guys. But yes, hopefully they get the service fixed pretty soon. I mean, this game in regards to its launch and its servers have been pretty bad. Uh, but yeah, as time goes on, they're no doubt going to get better. But we will see guys, we will see. But that is the latest and greatest in regards to the first ascendant. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.